Hello everyone, it has been long since we were in this, our channel, welcome back. A lot has really taken place in our education system. As you can see, recently we've been having a lot of strikes and uh, that one forms the basis for our discussion. Uh, in our last discussion, we talked about discipline of our children and we said actually charity begins at home how do we as parents handle our kids when they misbehave before you take them back to school how do you mentor them how do you nurture them how do you handle them when they misbehave are you always there for your kids as a parent or you are a home away parent uh, it's quite unfortunate I can say that we've been having a lot of uh, strikes in our secondary schools and it is really not pleasing it is not a good picture and every other time, I keep asking myself a lot of questions. Who is to blame? Is it the parents? Is it the teachers? Is it the society? Or is it the children uh, themselves? Those are the many questions that keep lingering in my mind. I don't know, maybe you can provide me with the answers in the comment section. It's really a bone of contention. You've seen in different schools, students burning down the dormitories. They even forget that those dormitories, they benefit them. That the kids that sleep in those dormitories, their parents, neither do their teachers uh, use those dormitories but they decide to burn them down. They don't imagine of the ripple effect. In other areas you could see students breaking into the stores, collecting food and deciding to scatter it all over. It's quite unfortunate. I believe uh, in our community from where I come from, it is uh, um, a taboo to actually pick food and start throwing it away anyhow. It is unacceptable. I don't know whether the kids are usually mentored in those aspects. I don't know whether they are uh, actually uh, told about the different taboos in their cultures. At times they are quite inconsiderate because uh, some fires happen at night when some of the students are sleeping. Some schools with story buildings, uh, you find that the whole scenarios end up with casualties. It is not laughable at all. I saw the meme groups uh, form something like Wachomaji, Wakomtani, take care of uh, your houses. Oh, Msuwakasirishe, Watachoma Nyumba. I don't think this whole scenario is laughable. It is not really pleasant. Uh, when you read the opera news, at some point, uh, it is depicted that some teachers are involved. And uh, I believe that if it is really true, then that is quite unprofessional. And uh, especially that I know teaching is a noble and dignified profession, whereby um, to some 
extent it is a calling from God because here you're given a responsibility whereby you're supposed to take care of uh, the young generation, nurture it, mold it, and uh, the end result should be a productive a citizen who is uh, well round and uh, very disciplined. But now if a teacher is involved in such scenarios, then I say it is quite unfortunate. Considering the different incidences I've been uh, encountering in this life, at times I can say that as parents, we attribute a lot to what happens in the lives of our children. For example, as a parent, I cannot reprimand my kid. I allow my kid to always have his or her way. For example, when my child needs uh, an item A, she demands for that. She throws tantrums around. She doesn't show any uttermost respect. And at the end, I decide to provide that. Then I believe as a parent, we failing to inculcate some uh, good mannerisms. It is just a calling that even uh, the spiritual leaders should thrive to enhance uh, spiritual nourishment in these kids so that they can grow up knowing the values and the morals of the society. It is quite improper when children just decide to destroy property that serves them. I don't know what you will say, my dear viewers. I know this topic, we've not really expounded much on it. We will be back so that we can discuss more after we've done enough research to know what is really happening in our schools. You can see, second term, uh, those days we used to have mock examination. And to some extent, it was pointed out that it is the mock examinations that uh, bring about strikes in the schools because the students actually don't want the ranking. But of late, we no longer have the mock examinations. Uh, after Corona, we've been having a shortened academic calendar. It, was, uh, it has been quite intense. And um, with the children, they're not used to the intense system. But again, I felt that uh, these children, after making them to understand that uh, it is their life and uh, they need to really sacrifice and commit themselves, they should have coped with the situation. But regardless, uh, regardless of that, these kids in the past, they used to have half terms and they could still uh, go on strikes. Let me take the best example of this 2021, the second term, whereby there was no half term break. Uh, the CS decided to give a meet-up break to all the students because actually it was their thinking that it is the lack of the meet-up break that was making these students to go on rampage. Unfortunately, even after reporting from the half-term, some students still decided to ban their dormitories, some decided to walk out of the school, some decided to write in their suggestion boxes that they'll hold a Zoom meeting with their principal uh, to tell them 
uh, to tell him or her that they'll be back after the festivals. It's quite ridiculous. I'm just a concerned parent and every other time I keep asking myself a myriad of questions. I keep wondering if uh, this is the kind of generation we're trying to bring up. We really need to step up. And uh, since the children we have now, they are the 21st century skills, we also have to accept that they are technologically <laughs> advanced because we've also exposed these kids to mobile phones. They are able to access internet and we all know that uh, in these social medias we have a lot, lot, lot that can either positively or negatively influence the thinking of our kids. Now guys, I believe that as we brainstorm through, you're going to help me to know what are these real, real things or issues that are actually making our children to go on strike, destroy property, and others just have some uh, democratic walkouts from their schools. Kindly do not forget to hit the bell notification, subscribe to my channel, watch my video, help me through by leaving your comments. And uh, I'm quite grateful for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It is a challenge and um, I'm really motivated by everyone here. I love you all and thank you so much. It is always your girl, the Iron Lady. Adios.